everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brenda or also known as Cozyaholic. And as you can tell, I pulled out the mom cam because I'm currently filming or actually editing the video that you guys are watching right now. And I realized that I didn't film an intro. So I wanted to hop on here real quick and just let you guys know that I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. Of course, for today, we're gonna be doing a DIY rainbow wall as well as a chalkboard wall. And then also giving you a little bit of a tour slash sneak peek of what the playroom is currently looking like. But before we do so, I do wanna share a really awesome package that I got from Love Every. So you're gonna be seeing that after this. I am wearing a different outfit because it was filmed a couple days ago. But hope you guys enjoy and make sure to stick around if you guys want to see the DIYs. But anyways, let's go ahead and hop right into it. Alrighty, so I got a very fun package today. So Love Every was kind enough to send me two of their play kits for Kira and Carter, which I'm really excited about because as you guys know, I am really, really working towards having like a functional playroom where they have toys that are like good for their development, that they're actually learning something from them. So for Carter, we got this one right here, which is the Babbler kit. It's 13, 14, and for 15 months. So he is 14 and a half months right now. Um, so he'll be able to play with this for another month or two. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> Do you want to open this? Do you want to open this? You want to see what's inside? Yeah? Okay. All right. Look, your sister's getting mad. Give me one second, okay? And also, it's time for like their toy rotation in here. So this is actually perfect timing because I didn't have any more toys to rotate in. Good job! Great job, buddy. Now, where is it? Look, open it. Oh my goodness. Great job, buddy. He already got the hang of it. This is crazy. Look, we can try a different one. In here. If you open it, you can pull it out. Yay! Great job! Kira's over here like, when do I get to play? <laughs> do you see her? She's like, I want to play. What the hell? <laughs> you play soon, honey. If you guys are interested in checking out these boxes, I will have the link below in the description box. I seriously want to advocate for children, and I think that stuff like this is just so helpful for them. It teaches them things, and we want smart kids in school. Seriously, I feel like as a mother, when you know that your kid is like really smart and they're doing well in school and all that, it's just something to be very, very proud of. So put the work in, mama. I believe in you. <laughs> There you go. Now you can see what's on your hands. <laughs> Is that daddy? Yeah, did you hear the garage open? Oh, oh, careful, sweetheart. Here, let's burp you real quick. It's all right. So, the playroom is one of my favorite places so far in this house, but I do have a project for here. I want to paint a black, uh, like chalkboard wall on one side so that he can paint with chalk or sorry draw with chalk or whatever chalk with chalk <laughs> Chalk with chalk um, and then on the other side. I want to put a huge really cute rainbow So I saw this picture. I think it was on Instagram if I'm not wrong um, I will insert it here so you guys can check it out or see the picture that I'm talking about But basically I want to do this really cute like rainbow mural on this wall right here because it's just so empty and it's really tiny, which is perfect because like I just, I don't know, it's, it's so empty and sad and I want this room to feel like fun. Okay, so really quick, I never thought about using these first. Um, I bought these and I was actually thinking of doing this for like the smaller areas, but I realized that these, because they're so thin at the end, they're actually so much easier to make the line. Like, 
literally i could have just done this the whole time it would have saved me so much time so if you guys do do like any murals and stuff recommend getting these because this is literally a lifesaver especially for like lines and stuff all right you guys so the mural thing is done i'm kind of like loving and hating the blue i don't know i need to sit on it tonight and see if i like it if i don't then i'm going to change it to like another like tone of this like earthy color anyways um so i'm gonna move on to the chalkboard thing i cut the wood pieces that i'm going to be using so basically it's these i think they're like two by twos if i'm not wrong um let's go ahead and do the chalk paint and then i will see you guys tomorrow morning hi guys good morning so it is the next day and i completely forgot to film me painting this thing but i've only done one coat and now i'm gonna do maybe one or two more i need to let it like dry completely before i go with the next coat because chalk paint is a little different than normal paint it's also very like elasticy. Um, which is interesting because I've never experienced that with paint. But I'm going to do another coat for this. And then hopefully the second, third coat um, will cover it up entirely. It doesn't have to be perfect though because it is chalk paint. Um, we're still going to be painting over it so it doesn't really matter. And then this wall is pretty much done. I just need to erase um, the pencil marks that I did for areas where I didn't end up painting there. And then we just pick up the room and I think we're going to be good to go. Mm -hmm. 